What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here, and we're back with another Lost Island hardcore episode. And today, guys, we're first off going to kill our newly born raptor, and then we're going to head to the Aberration Cave. So I figured we'd try and get some of the artifacts, and if we can get the one that's located in the Aberration area, we can also potentially claim and tame some uh, guys down there. So let me just... I don't know how many electronics and whatnot we're going to get from it. I don't know if it's the same. Okay, that that's that's pretty decent. I'm gonna say that's that's a pretty solid amount of resources that we got there. 77 metal, 90 electronics, 95 oil. Honestly, I'm happy with that. We're gonna leave these guys breeding. I'm gonna try and wait for some more females to come out. But uh, that that seems like a pretty solid amount of resources. I would say I'm happy with that. So let's chuck that in there for now. And we're going to just dump the rest of this stuff in here because we're going to make some air conditioners and we'll probably hatch the magma saw egg next episode, I think. Um, but for today, guys, yeah, like I said, we're going to head out to... What is this one from? Oh, that's the new female that we tamed. We're going to head out to the Aberration Cave, which I believe is located up in the Snowy Mountains section. So we've got a little bit of a journey to go, but we're going to take uh, probably Red Rocket, maybe Big Kahuna. Take both of them, probably, because the Aberration Zone is not going to be a pretty place. Before we head out, though, let's just do this real quick and grab a cage. Grab one of those. And we can throw this other dung beetle that we have into the cage. And we should be good. Now, I'm going to come back and straighten this one up. I don't think I have a ladder up here. now. So, let's get this guy into here. In we... Go. I do not regret taming this guy whatsoever. All right, mate, you sit in there. We'll come back for you. Let me just check my settings real quick because I have a feeling everything is set to epic. Yeah, that's why everything looks so, like, shadowy and nice. Because, uh, yeah, I had to change their settings to epic. All right, so I'm going to cryo up Red Rocket. I'll probably take Big Kahuna as well. I've got enough tranks. I should have enough ball thing. Oh, Big Kahuna has a lot of stuff on him. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. All right, let's just grab all of this. We're going to get all this sorted, and uh, I'll bring you guys back when we're on our way to the Aberration Cave. And, oh my god, guys, we're making our way over, and look at the size of this fish. It's as big as bloody us. My god, that's huge. So, luckily enough for us, uh, the actual spot isn't too far away from us, so we only really just have to climb up this mountain. Now, I'm hoping that we have enough gear to stay warm enough with what we currently have, so we need to climb up. Quite a few mountains. Our monkey's helmet did break, but I'm thinking of just taking mine off and giving it to him instead. Because I reckon that's probably going to be the better option here instead of going back to... Okay, we're still... Okay, still climbing. Sure. How? Damn, dude. That is impressive. Okay. Uh, so we need to go over there. Hopefully we don't just fall off the edge here. All right. Sweet. We're fine. So we're going to make our way up to the snowy mountains. Now the Christmas event is over. I don't think we really got too much OP loot. To be honest, from um, from doing it, like I, I think the strongest thing, some of the strongest stuff we got was maybe like an ascendant bow and crossbow and stuff like that. I don't really think we got crazy good stuff, but nonetheless, I'm still happy that we got what we did because it definitely helps out having stronger crossbows and bows and stuff like that to tame. And I think we did get an apprentice uh, long neck rifle as well. All right, I'm still keeping an eye out for any extra dinopithecuses, but I hate oh I hate that you can't see on the back of this one. Unlike when you're riding them, you can't pull out the spyglass and bloody check them. It's really annoying. Okay, so let's climb up here. We're going to go to... It's about 50-30, I'm pretty sure. So, we're, we're not too far. We're pretty much... It's just up these mountain faces. And then we're good to go. Then we should be A-OK -okay to actually get the aberration artifact. Uh, now, yeah, like I said, I'm hoping to tame some aberrate creatures. I'm not entirely sure what we want to try and tame yet. But I know that we're going to probably try and tame stuff. We just have to stay away from the Megalosauruses. Because they will kill us. And I'm pretty sure we're near the entrance. I think there's the next waterfall up above this one. And that should be the entrance into the aberration section of the game. Of this map anyway. Because it's not on an actual waterfall. Although it looks like you can get through in here. Alright. Dinopithecus, he's, just, he's, he's in his own world. I don't know what is going on. Whoa, mate. Does that, that just takes you up to the next area. Can you just like chill out for a second, my dude? All right. Are we just permanently living up here now? Is this our fate? 
because of your strange climbing habits. Come on, up you get. Uh, okay, now when I want you to actually climb, you choose not to. When I don't want you to climb, you go absolutely ham. Makes sense? All right. <laughs> Dude, what do you... Just climb, mate. All right. I think the entrance to the aberration section is just up ahead here. If uh, my thought processing is correct. No, maybe it's a little bit higher. Yeah, it is. It's a little bit higher, so we're almost there. I'm just looking for the uh, giant pool, which I think is right at the top, but I'm pretty sure these waterfalls will take us, like following the riverbeds, will take us to the actual location. So I'm not sure if we're at the wrong place or on the other side or something like that, but we should be okay. I'm glad to see that we're not bloody freezing up here in the cold. Come on, dude. Just climb for me, mate. No, that's not it. Oh. This isn't it either, but this looks cool in here. My dude... Can you work with me here? Oh, we got some die wolves. We got some green glowy stuff. I'm not going to hang around in here because die wolves are going to stun lock the crap out of me and I don't have any of the other guys thrown out yet. So, we'll come back here. We'll, we'll come back. I don't know if there's any artifacts or anything like that in there, but we might find one. All right, let's try and find this giant pool. It's at like 50, 30, 50, sorry. So I think we need to head a little bit more that way and get some more height, and that'll allow us... See, doing this with no flies, I, it definitely adds challenges to it. I think this is the giant pool we want. It definitely adds challenges to it, but I think it's a good thing, because, like, I mean, the the, the Lost Island map is pretty big, but, like, we've, we've we managed to get over here pretty damn quickly. So, like, I don't think it's really going to... Oh, that's a 145 UD. Do we want to try and get a UD? Let's take a look at what it's fighting. Level 20 Mammoth. It should be able to kill them. Oh, I might come back for it. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. Because we do need some UDs for our uh, boss fight. We're definitely going to be using UDs, I think, to help us out. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, this is the way we got to go to get to the Aberration Zone. It's just over here. Did that Amargosaurus really aggro on us? Alrighty guys, and here we go, the entrance to the Aberration Zone. So, I did do a video on this covering it, but if you guys are looking for it, it's pretty much just here. Uh, so, it's about 29.50, and if you just follow that giant pool and follow the waterfall down, it'll actually take you here. So, let's head inside. I might throw out the other Dinopithecuses in just a second, and we're going to let everything render in. Are we good? Now, this cave is pretty notorious for just having a lot of stuff in it. I don't know if we need to throw out another one of the guys now. How much? I'm just going to take a look here. I might give this to our monkey. We've got all the other armor, so we should be okay. It'll definitely just help him out, I think. Red Rocket, mate, you're set. Alright, let's head in. So, I haven't... I'm a bit worried about doing this cave, to be honest. Because, like, I, we're, we're doing hardcore. So, if we die, it's over. And I kind of want to explore it a little bit. Because we didn't really explore it when we did the video. We just kind of ran through it to uh, get to the end. Alright, I'm going to throw out the other one. And... You know what? I'm just going to throw Big Kahuna and Mandrill out. But I might switch over to Big Kahuna, because he's the alpha. By a little bit. Let's throw this last one out. Mandrill. Alright, sweet. We're good to go. Let's just do that. Although, no. Red Rocket's not imprinted. Alright, let's go, fellas. I don't know if these guys will actually aggro on us, though. No, they don't. Yeah, they don't aggro on us at all. So, I'm wondering whether or not we throw them away and uh, put our other guys away and we just... Um, we run through, because I don't remember. I'm just going to get the monkeys in there. The Onyx are even run. Oh, wait. I wonder if that was our Cinemacrops that scared them. Hmm. I might. Just until we get to the Aberration Zone, because I think we should be okay. I think we'll be alright. Let's 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 just do this, because if nothing's aggroing on us... Oh, black pills. Cool, alright. Well, I mean, now everything's aggroing on us. 
because we decided to hop off, but we should be fine. So the aberration zone is just up ahead here. Although, I'm, like I said, I want to try and explore a little bit, see if there's anything else in this cave, because we just beelined it to aberration zone, and I'm not sure if there's like loot drops or anything like that here in this cave, which honestly it doesn't look like. We just did a big circle. Oh yeah, here we go. There's one up there. Okay, you can stop climbing. Get down. There's a lot of Titan of Boas there. I'm going to whack them because I know that we're not going to be able to get that loot crate without aggroing everything here. Also, if you guys are looking for a way to break out of the stun lock so you can actually attack because obviously the Dinopithecuses are trying, like you, you can't really attack without getting stun locked. If you jump and hit your secondary attack, that's actually how you break it and you can just keep attacking like that. Yeah, it's, it's a little annoying and tedious to actually do it like that. But uh, that's that's the best way to go about doing it. So someone mentioned that in the comments the other day. So if you're watching this one, thank you. Oh my god, how did you end up over here? But uh, yeah, if you want to try and break the stun lock from it, just all you got to do is hit jump in the secondary attack. Kitan Gauntlets and a journey and a Mastercraft Psycho Saddle. That's actually... That's some pretty solid loot. Alright, whoa. That's the Aberration Zone down there. So, I did just jump over it because I wanted to take a look, see if there's anything else in here. Before we head into the aberration zone, because getting out, I know getting out of it is a pain in the ass. Um, I don't see anything else. No more loot crates, nothing like that. I'm so going to get lost here if I don't remember the way, which I've already don't remember. Unless this takes us back to the beginning, yeah. It's looking like it'll take us back to the beginning. Definitely, this is the beginning. Okay, let's head back through here. Uh, there was another side room that I want to check out. But other than that, I don't think there's anything else in here. As far as I can tell, anyway. Yeah, here we go. There's another little room back here. Nothing. Okay. Nothing there. Anything here? No. Lots of bugs. Nothing back here, here as well. I feel like there would be drops back here, but maybe they haven't spawned in or something like that. I'm not... Oh, here we go. Not entirely sure. Fur leggings and a Paresa platform saddle, which I'll probably never use. Alright, here we go. We're heading down to the Aberration Zone. This is where things get scary because... Actually... If those didn't aggro on us, will these guys aggro on us? Like Kanos and stuff? I don't think they do. The Seeker did. Even Ravagers aren't aggroing on us. Wow, these guys are... <laughs> these guys are something else. I was going to get some Ravagers, but... Uh, <laughs> this is... I honestly wasn't expecting this. I don't know if Aberrant Megalosaurus has spawned down here, though. And I'm pretty sure they'll try and take on a Rex. Because I think they aggro on Spinos. But first things first, let's try and find the artifact. I don't remember exactly where it is. I know it's in here somewhere. Wait, what? Oh, this took us up the same spot. I have no idea. Okay, so this takes us back down to the aberration zone. And that's... I guess this is also our way out. We just have to try and remember where the transition is. But I think there's another end exit out of here anyway. Alright, I'm going to try and not aggro these things. Because we don't really need the extra aggro at the moment. Oh, damn. I want a high-level Ravager, though. Don't mind me, fellas. Literally giving him a cuddle. Oh, hold on. Female Tech Raptor. Oh, it's a 174, though. Do we want to try and tame that? I mean... <laughs> It's friends aren't joining. That was, uh... <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll take that. that. We'll take that. I wouldn't mind some shine pets either. Some light pets. But for now, I'm going to leave that raptor there. Because we can use it as a bit of a marker to get back to that spot. This is great. I didn't... I honestly didn't even think that this would happen. That nothing would aggro on us if we took our Dinopithecuses down here. This is great. I love it. It's so nice going into a cave and not getting aggro from everything. We're like full on pushing them aside and everything. This is hilarious. Alright, we got green gems. I need congealed gas balls, actually. That's what I need to get. And I don't know if there's any down here. Or the, the little thingies that you put the gas generators over. 
Malton. I'm pretty sure rock drake eggs are down here as well, if I remember correctly. Or I might be thinking of Fjordr, actually. Alright, looking for the artifact. I don't know what's in there, but we can't go in there exactly just yet, so I might leave that for now. Here we go. Okay, we're back in the aberration. -y. Ooh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Are you freaking kidding me? On a cave drop? A billboard and a freaking sign? What is this shit? That's annoying. Alright. I honestly could not tell you which way I need to go to get to this artifact. <laughs> I do not remember for the life of me where it is. We're just wandering around here aimlessly. I think I know how to get out of here. But other than that... Oh, here we go. This, yeah, this is the artifact room. There it is, just there. Beautiful! Alright, well, artifact is uh, a go. We've got some... Oh. I didn't mean to scare the glow tails. Okay. We're up. Now every... Now everything aggro's on us. The moment we get off our monkey... Maybe I should have killed everything first. I might just try and kill everything first. I don't know. Is it worth me throwing out? I'll throw out an extra one so we at least get the alpha buff. Let's go. Let's get to work. Because I'm pretty sure the Arthur Plurus also destroy our helmets. Like, look at him getting just stunlocked. He's not even dealing damage. He might actually die, to be honest. I'm coming, Red Rocket! He's just getting slammer jammed. Whew. Alright, that was good. I don't know if that's an Onyx back there or what, but yeah, look at how much damage he took. He's freaking almost dead. Alright, let's get our prize. Well, I mean, we got another Tech Raptor as well that we can try and tame up. Oh, actually, I should have held on to some of that Prime Mate. Can we... Bro, just chill out and just land on the platform. There you go. Attaboy. Oh, that was close. All right. Artifact of the Brute. Got it. Beautiful. Oh, strong. Never mind. Wrong artifact. Do you not... Are we... Oh, it's because of our secondary attack. There we go. All right. We got some ooh, prime meat for our uh, other raptor. I need to figure out how the hell we get back over there. But I'm also... I wouldn't mind a glow tail. Or I get lost. I wouldn't mind a glow tail. I haven't seen any of the other light pets down here. Okay, this is... We've just gone in a big circle here. Let's just come through here again. So this took us to the artifact, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's the artifact. That takes us around to the artifact. I'm pretty sure one of these paths is an exit out of this cave. I think it might be this one. If you follow the river up, it takes you out, maybe? Or is this just taking us back to where our raptor friend is? This is a very uh, dizzying cave. Little branches and paths off everywhere. I don't know how I feel about Lost Island. The map itself. I do like the map, but... I don't know. It feels very... Big. Okay, we've got another drop here. I should probably try and get back to our raptor at some point. Uh, I don't know if I'm... Yeah, we'll throw Mandrill out. Is there anything down there? No. We're going to attack from behind so we don't get stunlocked. And just to help out. Die, freaking bugs. Yeah. That's what I was worried about. Alright. Let's grab our prize here. Hopefully it's something freaking good. Oh, shit again. From cave drops. How annoying. Alright, Mandrill, thank you very much for your contribution. Getting your Pokeball. Let's go. Alright, we've got some more Black Pearls down here. We've got some Ravages over here. 55. And Glow Tails. Why aren't there any other bloody Light Pets down here? Where are they all? Okay, that's the water way back up. This takes us somewhere else. I don't know. I'm so lost. 
I do want to go back and get that tech raptor. Okay, this is the artifact room. Let's turn around here again and head down this way. I just want to see what was further back here with all with the other group of ravagers and the raptors, because I feel like there's more back here. There's a glow tail there. Black pearls, this is where yeah. We came out from over there, so is there anything back here? It's just a dead end. Alright, it's just a dead end, so I think that's the whole cave done. I don't need black pearls, so I'm not going to bother grabbing them for anything at the moment. Because all they do is weigh us down massively. Ah, 58, freaking hell. Um, I wonder if I can... Oh, shit. I was going to say, I wonder if I can use our Cinemacrops to hold the artifact for me. But I didn't mean to eject it from me. Bro, get lost. Make it freaking nervous. Die. Lane for me, little dude. I have no armor, so I have to be very careful here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking, I'm wondering if we can use it like an otter. And get two of the artifacts. No, we can't. Alright, that's unlucky. Alright, that's fine. Let's get, get out of here. We'll try and get that raptor. I might actually put it on the tracker so I have a brief idea which way to go. Alright, let's go. Wish me luck, because I have no idea if we're going to make it back here, but I th I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that there is another exit out of here. Like, I'm 80% sure there's another exit out of here, uh, aside from the one coming in. But, I mean, we, we set out what we wanted to do. I didn't get any really aberrant tames. There's only really ravages, and that's kind of it. Um, there were a couple of glow tails, but, yeah, I don't really want glow tails. And the loot was very disappointing. We didn't get any good loot, either. Oh, actually, we got better loot from the stuff that we got first before coming down here into the bloody red ones. Which sucks. Because, you know, you'd expect red bloody cave crates to give you good shit. And what do we get? Bloody billboards and signpost blueprints. Alright, let's keep going. It looks like we found our way out of here. Now, the only issue is... How the hell am I going to get food into this tech raptor... Without pissing everything off in this room first? <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. So my question is, do we fight everything over here and then try and tame it up? Because I don't think I can use... I don't think I can use this. Oh. Oh, shit. Alright. We need to kill stuff here because Ravagers are going to mess us up with their bleed. If I can hit this one. Alright, there we go. Okay, we're good. Let's... I might... I'm not really too worried about the Tech Raptor taking damage. If it does, it does. If not, that's great. Pretty sure I just hit it there. Good job, Big Kahuna. You good over here? Alright. Well, I mean, that's a... Pretty much a tech raptor guaranteed tamed up. There's a lot of high level Kanos in here. This might be a good spot to come back and try and tame some. Uh, this is definitely going to end bad. Come on, monkey. <gasps> no! No! They're aberrant raptors! Oh shit! I didn't even think about that! Oh! My god, I didn't even think about them being aberrant raptors. I didn't even realize they could have grabbed us off. Oh my god, I'm so... Oh my, what do I have that kept me alive? My armor, look at that. Oh, that was terrifying. I am glad we didn't fight them first, because those Kanos would have messed us up. We would have been dead. Oh my god, was that close. That was terrifying. My heart, the heart palpitations are real right now. I was like, what's going on? Oh, the heart palpitations are real. Alright. We are getting out of here. I forgot. I didn't even think about it. Because they're... Yeah, Aberrant Raptors still have the stupid pounce ability where they can pull you off. Oh, man. Alright. Well, we got the Tech Raptor. I don't know if it... 196. It definitely lost a lot of taming effectiveness, but that's fine. We got Artifact of the Strong, which I'm happy about. So, uh, I don't think I need any of this. All that. I kind of want to try and get that uh, UD. That we saw up in the snow, but I'm not sure if we can if we can do it now because we are very, very low. We don't have any armor. We almost died there, so I don't think that's the best idea. 
in the world. Uh, I think we might leave it for now. Oh, I completely forgot about tech raptors, uh, about aberrant raptors doing that to you. Man, that was scary. All right, uh, this is the room. That's the waterfall down. So we don't want to follow that. We want to go this way. I just wanted to see if there was any high level ravages. 95, eh. All right, let's get out of here. I think this is the way to get out of here. Maybe, nope, this is just taking us around this around the twist. Yep, okay, we're just going deeper and deeper into the cave here. Yep, cool. Wonderful, that, <laughs> that was a complete waste of time. Can I get out, please? All right, let's head over here and see how we go. Alrighty guys, and I'm pretty sure we've made it out of the cave. I think this is the exit just over here. So we definitely... No, this isn't the exit. We've gone around in a big circle. Uh, we definitely need to head back to base and make some more armor for ourselves. That's the wrong way. I thought I had the exit. Maybe it's this way? Yeah, here we go. This is the right way. Yeah, we definitely need to head back to base and get some armor sorted before we think about doing anything else because... I think we've only got some chitin boots. Oh, and we got the gloves now as well, I guess, which is a little bit helpful. But we're we're in some serious danger if we try and find some other freaking aberrant raptors anytime soon. So we're gonna get back to base. We're gonna try and get this tech raptor breeding some more with the uh, the other male that we've got back there, and then we're gonna try and harvest them up. I'm also kind of keen on getting a sarco now because we've got a god tier saddle for it. What 81 armor? I kind of want to get a sarco. Let's jump off here for a second. Because we are going to need something to explore underwater. Because I'm assuming... I don't exactly know. But I'm assuming that... <sighs> ooh, I'm assuming that there's uh, artifacts underwater. Alright, so we've got a 145. And we've got a 130 with a green. I like the tinged. Do we want to go for a pair and then we can just... Uh, breed them and then get offspring and imprint on it? I think that might be the way to go. Okay, let's do that. We're going we're gonna to head down here. We're going to tame up some psychos instead, I think. We should be okay. I don't think they can grab us off the Dinopithecus, and I've just noticed that there's a few more over here. I'm not game enough to get off the Dinopithecus, because one wrong move and I think I die. Actually, we should be okay here. I don't know if they can get up to us. That level 25 one looks pretty cool. It's got like a yellow snout. I don't know if you guys saw it. It had like green body and then yellow snout. Oh, it's got like a blue underside as well. I kind of want it for its colors. It is only level 25. Screw it. Let's get it. Where'd you go? I mean, Big Kahuna can probably tank any of the damage they deal out anyway. And we've got some Brontos just up there that we can get for Prime Meat. I think that's out. Yep. Alright, cool. So now I just need to try and... I think that's the 145 over there. Yeah, that's the male 145. Let's head over here and knock him out. And then we can get a breeding pair. I might try and breed both the females and the... I don't think he can grab us off. I don't know. Is it just him attacking us? Yeah, it's just him. I like Psychos more so for uh, ocean exploration as well, because they're a lot faster than Baryonyxes. So, I know Baryonyxes have the stun, which you can pretty much use on Megalodons, and I think that's pretty much it. But, like, Psychos can just swim away from everything. Like, see how much quicker they are in the water? Okay, you stay right there, mate. We will come back for you. Where is the 130 female? Is that over there? No. There it is there, I think. I don't want to fight in the water. Okay, where is that? I think, is that her there? No, level 50. But there is one around here because that's mate boosted. We've got more down here as well. Bloody hell, this is a freaking... 85... A whole cesspool of psychos. You're not the one we want, are you? Are you? Come back. Let me level 50. 
Where did the 130 female go? Did she go for a bit of a wonder? She's like gone. Huh. That kind of sucks. That's not, unless she fell down here, maybe. I don't know where she went. She's just vanished. I didn't see her under the water. I'm not game enough to go down there just yet. Let's just finish checking this pool up here first. And then I'll probably come down here. Are you running from a psycho? No. Where did she go? I definitely think she might have gone off the edge. I have a sneaking suspicion she's fallen off the edge. No, nope, there she is. Beautiful. Alright, let's go get her. And then I think that's our army of psychos done and dusted. I do like these Dinopithecuses though. They are very powerful. I can kind of see why they got the stun lock going because like they've got the aggro thingy of a... Oh my god, this one looks sick. They've got the aggro thingy of a Rex and like nothing attacks them. So I can see why when you do decide to attack something you get stun locked. It's just annoying, that's all. She's chunking us, though. I'm worried about killing her. That should be enough for her to go to sleep. Beautiful. Alright. I really need to figure out a way to get rid of all these stupid Cinemacropses on here. Alright. So, we've got quite a lot of Psychos here. Let's take a look at their health real quick. 1,500, 4,800. So, she's actually got more HP than the male. I think... No, that's food. What am I talking about? 1700. So, uh, I think taming up a male and female pair is a good idea. Just because, I mean, we already have them. Alright, this male, this one over here shouldn't take too long. I'm worried about getting off. Oh, we should be fine. Okay, that'll be enough for that one to tame up. I might, uh, I'll leave the two big ones to star for a bit longer, but I might head down to this other pool down here and see if we find anything else. Any other Sarkos down here, because you never know, there might be some down here. Alright guys, first Sarko is all tamed up. Oh shit. And the new ones have decided to spawn in. Alright, we got it. Uh, I took a look down at the other ponds and there wasn't anything else down there. There were, I think the highest level we saw was 95, so disappointing, but I'm happy with our 130 and our 145. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, hold on. There's more coming in now. Is that a 145 over there? I think I saw, or was that 45? It was definitely a leveled something over there. What was that? Are we scaring fish? There he is there. 45. Alright, cool. Good to know. So I'm just going to wait for these guys to starve a bit more. They take forever to bloody starve. And I don't have access to mutton. And as far as I'm aware, I don't think there's really anywhere nearby that has any mutton. Because that's the volcanoes over there. So I'm just going to wait for these guys to tame up. And then we'll uh, feed them with some primate. And then we'll head back to base. I'm going to drop this Paris saddle because it's not going to be useful for us. But I'm really glad we got that Mastercraft Psycho saddle. Because we can just use it to... Ride these guys up under the water. Alright, we're going to try our luck. See if they've starved long enough. I'm hoping that they have. But, yeah, she's definitely not ready to be tamed up. She's going to take a lot longer than I anticipated. So, she's only probably going to get to about 40%. Yeah. Which sucks. Uh, this guy is probably going to be the same situation. He's only got about 10 feeds in him. So, I... Don't know if he'll have enough. She's at 61, which isn't too bad. I need to just come over here, though. I should have enough prime meat for him. I hope. And we're just going to drop it in this big guy. Eat up, big fella. Yeah. Alright, so he might actually be done. I don't know about the female. Never mind, I spoke too soon. He's still got a bloody... Same amount as the female, so that sucks. Uh, we'll just have to wait it out, I guess. There's not much else we can do. I might need to get some more prime meat, though. Because I think it might spoil, and we don't want to ruin these tames. 
So I might go fishing for some crocs. Oh, hello. I thought that said 50 and I, uh, 150 and I got excited for a second there. Let's kill this little lady and then uh, we'll get that prime meat into the... Into the sarcos. Alrighty guys, and... Beautiful. 150 sarco is tamed. You got an extra 108 levels, so I think we lost about four levels. Uh, and the female is one bite off. Ugh. She got to 98%. So let's go over here and take a look at his stats while we wait anyway, because we got nothing else to do. Um, I could probably try and harvest some resources up and whatnot, but I'm not really too worried about it. I do want to actually kind of maybe possibly take him for a test drive. Let's take a look here. He's a little bit broken at the moment. Let's get the saddle on him. How you looking, big fella? 2,600 health. 317 melee damage isn't too bad. And yeah, he just flies in the water. So this is why I want to take him into the ocean for, because he's probably going to be a lot more effective than a Baryonyx or something like that. Don't take full damage. Don't take full damage. Nice. Yeah, but look at this. He's soaring through the water. Plus, Lost Island has a lot of these small ponds and rivers and stuff like that, so I feel like we could probably definitely get some use out of this guy. We've just been running around on Dinopithecuses for majority of the time, and uh, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not saying it's bad, but like there are other dinos out there, I suppose. I don't know if I'm pretty sure they can't grab us off. I'm pretty sure they can't grab us off here, right, with the barrel roll. Nice. Couple of levels for our boar, and we're good to go. So, yeah, he's definitely worth it, uh, I reckon. Let's take a look at... I mean, I'm going to not level him up, actually. Just because I want to see what the base stats of the, the baby come out like. So, I think we'll hold off on leveling him up. Hopefully, there's enough food in this Sarko's inventory, because I haven't checked it in a while. We did have a Rex spawn on top of us, and I'm also pretty sure that there's an Alpha around here somewhere. Unless I mistook the glow for some flowers, which is entirely possible. I definitely think I mistook some flowers for an alpha glow. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Is our monkey still over there? Where'd our monkey go? Okay, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, she's got enough food. Let's just drop that in there for now. Uh, okay, he's still over there. I was like, where's he gone? Big kahuna, mate? Where are you? I think that's Psycho will aggro on us. Should make it here in time. Beautiful. Bro, you don't want to fight me. Just... <gasps> I can grab you. Okay. Yeah, it can still grab us. Out of the water. Out of the water. I mean, I don't think it'll kill us with our armor, but... Just to be on the safe side of things. Alright, we're good. Okay, beautiful. And they're both tamed up, which is awesome. So let's get these guys back to base and we're going to breed them up. We should have a couple of Tech Raptor babies as well, ready to drop out of the uh, cryopod things. So we can definitely take a look at those and harvest them up for some metal and stuff like that. And uh, next episode, we'll probably hatch the Magmasaur. We'll do a ton of breeding. 2,000 health, 305 melee damage, which is honestly okay because uh, the only reason we tamed her up was A, to breed her and because of her colors. So let's get those guys and we're going to get back to base. But we're going to wrap the video up here for today, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more and I'll catch you in the next one.